Hello everybody, welcome to Winter Romancing Saga Re-Universe Gaming Video. So, wow, Cordelia? <laughs> let's talk about the uh, new banner, but before that, um, let's just have a quick run through on some new features, right? Okay. Amplified skills, alright, so these are the one. I am not too sure uh, which skill yet, but maybe Asalia's um, Whirlwind, which um, Dual Dragons. Uh, okay, Hannibal. <laughs> or oh, Katarina is Grave Digger, and uh, there's a Guild Staff, right? Yeah, Guild Guild Staff. The rest I don't really fancy. <laughs> Okay. The weapon holy stone is back again. That's good. Okay, and let me let me just go through what I have been collecting and why I'm collecting them. Okay, for status ailments like okay, I try to have like two of them each. Sometimes it can be useful. Charm, confusion, petrification, sleep, paralyze. Okay, stun. I don't think it's that useful. Yeah, because stun, you you really have to be fast. Is it should be the first attack, and then then and then. So, what's the point of having this uh, resistance resistance down? Okay. Darkness, yes. Poison, okay. Uh, accuracy, okay. I think the main quest we are seeing more and more. Um, Enemies having high agility and uh, some of our styles, e even with uh, good levels and good attributes, they also tend to miss. Okay, because of uh, lower agility, so this might this might come handy soon. <laughs> Recovery, I have two also. Okay, Crick, uh, I'm not really using it, so not not doing anything yet. Maybe wait until I have more shots. Okay, full HP is good to have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five. So you need it's it's good to have at least five for auto farming, alright? Because uh with auto farming if you can just keep um eliminate the enemies first, then you can keep leashing out 20%. Okay, it's the highest 20%. The rest will be like 15% and 10%. So it's good to have at least five, I think three or five. Yep. Shadow, yes, I will level it up later <laughs> when I have more shots. Sun, yes. Light, I am going to have two. Perhaps one for what? Um, Khalid and one for Madeleine. <laughs> Cole, okay. I think it's good to have more also. Hit, okay. We'll have more. We have so many hit hit styles. As for this pierce slash, I, okay, it's only up to 10%, so I don't think it's really worth the effort. So I will just leave it. I hardly use them also. Okay, stuff. Stuff, I might have one or two. Anyway, it's only up to 10%. It's good for those with uh, dual elements like Joe, fire, and water. So stuff, you get 10%. <laughs> or you you can use uh, power plus also, also 10%. 10 Okay, bow, 15%. Spear. Okay, this is the weapon type. Uh, uh, I'll try to have one. One each, yep. It's only 15%, okay. I'll try to have more. The one that I use most often would be... Um, actually, it's the weak point plus. Okay, combo not really overdrive not really maybe not useful as you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine fifteen percent weak point plus yep power I have one only yep so these are the one that I'm collecting okay and remember to buy the special shop that's uh, this uh the how you call what you call it the digger <laughs> Just buy all three of them, 250 free jewels times three. That's really worth because you can 
You can get close to what? 9,999 for... To get more shards. Yep. Just go for the shards. No need to farm for the stone, yeah. And then, uh, okay. Exchange here, have to get everything. And then here. Okay, let me talk about... Okay, this is my current party and why I'm using them. This is a... Um, maybe I'll share a bit, uh, a bit advanced guide on how to build this uh, auto farming party or, or at least how I get into this. Okay. Of course, first, I mean, you have to ask quite a few questions when you start forming an uh, auto farming party. First is uh, how many like how many have these attribute gains that you want to level up. Of course, it's, it's best to put as many as possible, but sometimes you just can't put all because they could be pretty slow. Alright, so I I managed to put four of them. Okay. And four, I think they are doing very well. This one is like up to 1080 HP or something. Yeah, so my Genie 1042, Monica, they are all my, uh, I will say my generous, my top styles. <laughs> and Final Empress, okay. Too bad, Bartholomew, there's no gain, but I think he is helpful. I can either use him or use Madeline for Lightning Slash in this stage, but um, let's stick with him. <laughs> My Madeline HP is still below 1000. 1, okay, then, okay, the next then, uh, what to ask is that uh, the witnesses of the enemies, alright, and, and the quantity, okay. Some could have just uh, like one hard one in uh, round one and one hard one in round three. Okay, so you can't possibly keep using AOE. All right. So for this stage, um, the first one is three like wizard, and they are weak against a uh, slash. Okay, and the second one can't remember what. <laughs> oh, three like three worms that is weak against hit. So also AOE. The third one would be I think there's one hard one boss. Okay, the third third round will be only two. And then there's one pretty hard one. But I think they are all weak against slash and maybe water. The second second round the enemies are also weak against cold. Which is why I have Undyne. I mean she fits in nicely. <coughs> the so the next questions you need to think of would be what uh who will go first okay who will go first is the sequence is important okay and then second would be uh what are the skills to use and then the bp man management of each skill because if okay let me just uh, explain through slowly um like for this one i'm using this rainbow formation okay because it's, it's not easy to fit into each of their strengths and uh agility as in who to go first Okay, so remember to check the uh, attribute gains of the formation. So round one, for round one, I would want Bafthedomy, okay? Why him is that Abandoned Hands is a fast skill, so it will sure, surely go, go out first, even though his agility is not the highest among the rest, okay? 155, but here is 167. 178. So by right, their, their skills should go first. But then Bartholomew skill, Abandoned Hand, is a fast fast skill. So it will go first, definitely. Okay, and... Uh, Alright. So Bartholomew, AOE, okay. Hurt as much as possible. But somehow mine is not as... It's not that strong to one-shot kill all the mobs. So I need to have a second a AOE, which also doesn't need to be that... Uh, that um, High damage, so I have Monica. Okay, Monica using Stingray. Alright, okay, here she has this Dazzling Ballad, which is a single attack. It's a fast skill, so it will surely go out. If you have 10 BP, it will surely go first. Alright, so there is a need to manage the BP. I need to increase it to 11 so that there is no in not enough BP to unleash this skill. And the second skill with Sufficient BP to use will be sting, Stingray, alright? Okay, so this is how, how, how you do it. So this is the second one. But sometimes, 
sometimes they may not go according to sequence like what you have planned alright because some they might have hidden attribute like on the skills okay or on that particular styles that might tend to just uh, go out of sudden it will go first <laughs> okay so my second backup is actually Genie with this uh, she got this one AOE Sesame Strike okay so take note <coughs> of the BP this is BP9 so it will definitely go first alright because it's the highest BP it's, it's below 10 BP alright so it will de definitely go first in the first round which is an AOE skill also okay and then it may also uh, inflict stun which is good okay all these status ailment in auto farming they don't really help much except trying to make your party uh, safer alright <laughs> that means uh, like if the enemies are stunned or charmed or confused then your party members would less likely to get hurt and it will be a great advantage to use a full HP weapon holy stone because you can gain 20% damage alright and talking about BP the calculation is the first round you have 10 BP you always start with 10 BP the second round if it will be plus 3 so if you don't use any skill the second round you have 13 BP okay 13 BP means that you can use a 6 BP skills and a 7 BP skills on the on the third round yep okay actually the third round if if let's say the first and second round you don't use any skill the third round you have 16 BP which means it's good to unleash all the third skill the highest damage skill normally yep so so I have Paphtenomy, Monica and uh, Genie they will use their BP to to whack the mobs for the first round they will clear it okay and yeah they will clear it before the enemies can hurt usually <laughs> so then comes to second round second round is weak against Cole so I have okay so Baphtenomy will still use a hit win enough BP for hit win which is only 4 to do some damage and then Stingray she can still use Stingray on the second round okay because uh, 6 plus 6 is 12 BP so first round and second round the total BP is 13 BP alright and then uh, but sometimes she may go first or this uh, Undyne may go first so Undyne I have uh, what do I have she is likely to unleash Jugger Ice yep 13 BP if yeah because 10 plus 3 13 so just nice Jugger Ice it's rank 64 it's a good time for me to level it up okay okay let's say the second round all the mobs are finished by this tree all right this tree this one genie may just go for a single hit yep and waste her bp <laughs> so comes to the third round so this one will have not much uh for my monica not much bp left but then me also uh i think he can still use hit, hit win right okay let's calculate nine nine plus no he can't use hit win already yep it's a uh, 17 bp so the third round is the max is only 16 bp all right so he will just use a normal attack so it's pretty useless third round even though he will go first most likely <laughs> so okay so i have genie genie might have some safe all right some save uh, BP to use some uh, skill and then I have Undyne I, I was hoping that Shh. okay okay sorry sorry the second round Undyne my Undyne won't use Jugger Ice because I changed it to 14 BP I don't want her to use I want her to use Diamond Dust okay Diamond Dust which is an AOE Oops. AOE Cold for second round so so okay so 13 bp minus 9 bp we have 4 bp right then plus 3 bp for the third round we have 7 bp so third round she will use aqua aqua viper which is a row of foes just nice to hit two of them they are in the same row the two enemies and then i hope that this uh this final empress 
with this uh she will have accumulate 16 bp to use the luna plate which is an a dark slash aoe okay and hope that she can finish the enemies but sometimes she can't finish the last guy standing so yep and then final empress i think her uh, agility is pretty high okay it's high until that i have to bring it down i'm using this hob uh okay harmonious suit no uh ox Geta. minus agility minus eight all right i i need to bring it down so that she doesn't go first i want her to accumulate her bp for the third round for her third third skills okay yep so that's that's how this auto farming party is uh, i mean for for myself is how i plan it yep okay i think so okay then the formation wise um number one is strength increase 50 percent so genie genie is uh strength for her damage second dex okay 50 percent so monica small sword dex to gain higher damage third is agility increase third okay Parthenomy. i need him to go first every round for the hit win and this uh yeah for the hit win for second round okay so i put him here a bit and then uh undyne is here fourth intelligent 50 percent and then fifth is just uh just no uh nobody slot i will say that and so that's so i can only just put a uh, final empress there or i can switch final empress and genie because final empress i think also use strength for a slash attack okay okay so that's how i form my party for this holy stone uh, uh, auto farming you can you you can use the same principle whenever you want to form a party for auto farming for the uh, for the highest uh, speed and efficiency okay all right oops let me just take a look at this uh. okay this one i have cleared it when the spiral corridor i have cleared it with my holy queen this uh, agi debuff team up to 70 <laughs> i'll try to make a video soon <laughs> I mean, I, I clear it before the reset. Yep. So now I, I can do it again. <laughs> Daily. Okay. Well, I, I still need to clear clear this. Events. Okay. This one is clear, clear, clear. Nothing else to do and not going to do anything also. This one, no need to do. Yeah. Okay. Then the main. Oh, yeah. Main just I uh, want to talk about two things is the. I think most of you should have known is the new uh, SS style. I have added them to my ranking so that you can take a look and see whether they are good. I, I think in, in terms of ranking, they are pretty good. I have not checked out their skills, but they have pretty high ranking points. Uh, this this guy then one that's three, we can get this uh, Muse, SS Muse. Wow, she looks cute. <laughs> Okay, and then VH thirteen two three, we have any here. You see here. Yep. She looks uh, okay. Not bad, sexy. <laughs> okay, Mirage Brett, Fresh Triple Trust. What is this? We point focus. Oh, fire up four. Oh, it's a pretty good freestyle. Okay, I think she's good. No wonder her point is high. Let's check out Muse again. Ice Javelin is good. It's this Undyne skill, right? Revitalizing Water is... Um, is it Nawil's daughter? Wow! Rainstorm, okay. Oh! 8 BP? Okay, that is good. After Awaken is 6 BP. Looks good, man. Breath of Life, okay, good. Start of turn. Recovery boost. Um, Okay, good healing. We point focus, pretty good. I haven't found that them yet. <laughs> I think the the current focus is this weapon, Holy Stones. Yep. 
So next will be of course this one, alright? This round two springtime, so let's take a look at them to see whether they are worth to pull or not. Okay, this is the new banner. <coughs> so it's a UDX, right? So platinum, Diana and Nightheart both will go into platinum. Limited will be Mercer. Oh. First, let's take a look at Nightheart. This is the new one. This one is up already, 85, not yet, 94. Oh, that's pretty high. This is, I think this, this one is only released recently. So it's a spear. First skill is Grasshopper. Okay, Pierce Slash, same as this uh, Laura, SS Laura, may stun. Second, I don't know how to translate it. This is definitely not Kiss. I remember I saw this term before in this SS style, but I don't own it, so I can't, I, I don't know what to translate it. Yes, it's the one riding a horse. <coughs> Pierce, exclusive AoE, and there's a crit, I think it's a, against a go goblin or something, yep. Twin Strike Spear, wow, cool. Alright, translated, SS, Pierce, exclusive, single, single target. Okay, recommended skills and combo awaken skills for auto farming. Grasshopper, Ripper Plus, okay, inherited. This is a Ripper Plus, huh? that means uh, in Japan, I think this Ripper has is able to be amplified already, but now we still can't yet, okay? Maybe after amplification, the BP becomes a uh, six BP instead of five. Eh, in, instead of seven BP. I remember original BP is seven BP now. Yeah. <coughs> okay, this one, this one. Okay, for auto farming. Actually, you. Okay, just now I talk about this auto farming party forming and the BP adjustment. All right. You you can actually based on that. To see whether you need to um, awaken the skills BP or not. I mean, it's better that you do it when there is a need. And when there is no need, right, then just don't go and awaken and save your awaken books, okay? This is just a gen general recommendation. But I, I think they are most probably right because the Japanese players, they have played it much earlier. And farms too many times than us. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is for menu, challenging bosses. Okay. Oh, alright. It's a defender, right? Okay, Iron Wall Defense. Okay, reduce. Same as Julian. Rock Solid. Same as Julian. Fire of 4. Okay, damage. So, Ripper Plus. Future, uh, future then we can am amplify it. One thing to take note is this uh, en Endurance, which is rank 6 among all other styles. I remember Julian is top 3. Yeah, this one is rank 6, which I think is also pretty high. So I think he is a pretty good defender. Uh, uh, a lower substitute of uh, Julian. <laughs> okay, second we have Diana. The, this is the only SS style. The rest, okay. So, first skill, I don't know what to translate. It's a single peer. Second, okay, Flora Astrovanganza. Same as uh, SS Selma. I think it's a pretty good one, but it's a single target. Oh, okay. Unconsciousness, but it's low chance. Pierce Prism, translated. Pierce exclusive, single, single, single. I think she is a boss fighter, okay? <laughs> no AoE. Okay, recommended. Yeah, skills. It's not for auto farming, maybe for boss fighting. Sword Belly, oh, Sword Belly is, could be quite useful for AO, uh, AoE farming. But it's 9 BP, yeah, 11 to 10 or 9 BP. So it's more like the first round you go for 10 BP, unleash the skill, okay? Abilities, Breath of Life, okay, well, Hardy Warlock, uh, Engage 2. Oh no, this could be wrong, I think. I didn't translate this. Yep, this could be wrong. I'll check it later and just up, uh, change it and upload it yeah, with the correct one. Okay, Sword Belly, Mega Trust from her S style. Swimsuit, this one. Yep. I think we got her from the event previously. Yeah. Or maybe she's in the Platinum pool already. <laughs> okay, bonus wise, nothing fancy. Okay, wow. I think it's pretty nice art, yep. 
Mercer, okay, this is the one to look out for. 88, then there's 89, 93, two future SS styles, really good. We might, I think we are getting this one from the event. <coughs> and, or, or maybe the tower, sword user. Sonic Slash, okay, single. Meteor Sword, okay, this is the one to look out for. 5 BP slash exclusive AOE when hit may reduce will, right? <laughs> okay, I think so. <laughs> so 5 BP, okay, so just now I, I mentioned that in 3 rounds we can have 16 BPs. So if let's say 5 times 3, 15 BPs, 3 rounds every round we can unleash Meteor Sword, provided that there is no uh, third skill that is uh, less than 10 BP. <laughs> yep. Is there? Yeah, yeah, correct. There is no, right? This is the third skill. 15 BP. So, the first round will be 5 BP. Second round, 5 BP. Third round, 5 BP. <laughs> steel Sword Lights. Oh, this one looks like the Albert that still... Still played. Uh, still played. I think it's still played, yeah. Okay, Slash. Uh, slash and Sun. Exclusive single. Enter one stands. Recovers HP of the party. Small effect. Hey, pretty good. AOE heal. <laughs> Okay, but then this one is only for the... It's possible to unleash it on second round, yep. Second or third round, right? Yeah. Okay, recommended awakened skills. Alright. This one is good for auto farming. So this one will be good for boss fight. Meteor Sword, Heaven and Earth is a single attack. Dragon Sword, okay, translated. Not too sure about Dragon Sword. <laughs> Devil's Light, translated. Passive, nullifies attack, oh, okay, which have shadow damage and then counter with sand fire, but it's rank 1, uh, so it's, it's not that uh, very strong, put it that way. <laughs> Draining attack 3, okay, wow, this is, I think this, this is the first time I'm seeing fire up 5, right? The rest we have been seeing like fire up 4, and it's also buff, it's different from Japan, Japan is fire up 4. The small bonus uh, increase, 57 to 61 on INT. Cool, cool, cool. What is this? Is is it a... Oh, it's a, this is a sword. This is also a sword. <laughs> Two swords. <laughs> so my wish list. Okay, let's take a look. Misa or Masa. <laughs> Meteor Sword, 5 VP. The, okay, good for farm, farm, farming. Good for boss fight 2, fire up 5, 2 more future SS stars will make him even stronger in terms of uh, more inherit skills or the future SS stars might have better uh, bonus status or passive. Okay, nice art of, of course. Huh. But then it's limited, it's UDX. Oh, that's a pity. Alright, 9 hearts. Okay, good defender passive. Okay, 1 more future SS stars, platinum pool. Okay, going into platinum pool. But I don't have the other SS style, so... So... And then I already have Julian, so I don't really need him, <laughs> put it that way. But if you have the other SS style, I think you should collect it. <laughs> yep. Collect it as a whole in terms of the... Uh, you have more choices on the uh, inherited skills. Which is important because the more inherited skills that, that you have, the more choices you have, the easier for you to form your auto farm party. Alright. Diana, okay, platinum going into platinum pool. Only one SS, no other skills to inherit. I uh, have better small sword styles like Monica. Uh, not really Jamil, but Sel Selma. Okay. So my conclusion is I hope to get Mercer. Okay, but I won't go pity for him, alright? No way. <laughs> Because we have so many other good slash U styles, right? Uh, we're talking about what? Um, Poka, Asterius, Final Empress, Final Emperor, Katarina. Okay, those are great swords. <laughs> so, <coughs> hope I can get this one. Mosa with just 1,500 pay jewels times 3 times. Okay, or another free jewels pool times 3 because I, I think I have accumulated like 180k of uh, gems. Pretty good. So I think I can spare some to try my luck to get him. I just want him, okay? Once I got him, I think I'll, I will stop. No point going for the rest. <coughs> so season player, not really. Can skip. 
Oh yeah, should be skip. Save for stronger stocks or 4 SS stocks in the banner. Okay, we have seen that before. This one is only 3 SS. And then new player, of course, no. Same reason. Alright. Okay, next let's take a look at this uh, ranking update. Okay, still the same. <laughs> Sword, okay, Mercer 88. So above him we have, wow, many good ones also. And then this is the free any 85, not bad. Uh, the other any 70 is a jammer row. Great sword, no updates. Wow, club, no updates. Uh, martial arts, no. Ui, what is this? Okay, Feon, the free one from the event. 67. <laughs> Okay, small sword. Diana is here. Pretty high. I think it's like what? Reaching the top top three, top four. Okay, but I have all the Monica. I this is and Bartholomew and I don't have the other of Selma yet. I don't have this one. So I think I'm focusing on these two. Yep, and also Jamil. Okay, wow, Naiha is here. So on above him we have like so many other good ones. Okay, the other Naiha is here. Okay, Muse stuff is here. 86, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, that's all. Okay, so we are coming to the end of uh, this video. If you think the information provider is good, is useful, please give a like to this video. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Alright, um, thank you for watching and hope to see you again very soon when the banner is up, like I think tomorrow. Okay, bye.